So in this problem, the main important thing, guys, let's just go through my steps that I've been talking about. The first thing is to determine what type of parabola are we dealing with. Are we dealing with a vertical or is horizontal? And we look at it and we say, all right, again, we have an x squared, so we're going to be dealing with a vertical parabola. Again, I'm going to write that down so I do not forget it. Because when we're dealing, when we're changing things, and when we're finding the vote, the focus, the directrix, um, those are it's going to it's going to matter if we're dealing with a vertical or horizontal. The next thing is I need to write it in standard form. form. So I take a look at this, x squared plus 4x plus 6y minus 2 equals 0. Does that look anything like our standard form that we've been talking about? No. Right? Well, no, it doesn't look anything like it, does it? The one thing I know that's on the left is the x squared, and that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 2y and the positive 2. So I have x squared plus 4x equals the negative 6y plus 2. Now, I kept the x on the same side. is because we've never dealt with having a linear term with our parabola here, right? But the one thing I remember is when we have something like this, if I want to get it to this format, what I can do is complete the square. I remember that completing the square kind of goes back to our quadratic form is that when we have a b, or the coefficient of our linear term, we can take that, divide it by 2, and square it. And then we add that to both sides. So let's go and complete the square for this. So what I'll do is I'll take 4 divided by 2 and square it. Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Square is going to be 4. So what I have is x squared plus 4x. I'm just going to write down again what to do with the b divided by 2 squared. You add that to both sides. When you do complete the square, what you do is you do b divided by 2 and square it, where b is your 4. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm just showing you guys what. Why is it there? Why are we doing that? Let me, let me just, let's write it in and I'll show you. So now we determined that b divided by 2 was 4 divided by 2 squared. Okay, so that gives me x squared plus 4x plus 4, right? b divided by 2 squared equals right. 4. Equals negative 6y plus 2 plus 4. Okay, I had to make sure I added on both sides because we had an equation. And that's one of the first things you learn by equations. Whatever you're doing one side, you have to do the other. Just randomly do that. So if I wanted to put a three on there, you got a three on both sides, and we have a three. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's an equation. You can do that, but there's a reason why I did this. There's a reason why I did b divided by two squared. Because what had happened by doing that, I now gave myself a perfect square trinomial that I can rewrite now as a binomial. And that's what I want. Guys, I want it to look like this. X you know, minus um, H squared. I want it to look like this. So then what I did by completing the square, what that gave us is a perfect square trinomial that I can now write as I can write it now as X plus, X plus 2 squared. And let's check that work. Does that work again? X plus 2 squared is X plus 2 times X plus 2. X times X, X squared. 2 times X is 2X. X times 2 plus 2X. Two, 2 times 2, 4. Okay? That's why we complete the square. So we can get it to that format. Yes? So we don't have to change our minus. So to say X minus 8. If, I mean, you could write it, if you want to change it like to a minus, you write it like this. X minus is positive 2. It's still, um, oh, I'm sorry, that's a negative. So it would be X minus a negative 2, which would still be a plus. If you want to write it as a subtraction, you could write it as a subtracted negative number. All right? She was just asking, you know, why can't you write it as a negative? Well, you could. You could write X minus a negative 2, which would give you the same thing. Got right there? Yeah. Okay.
So these are just practice with completing the square. Then I look over here and I say, all right, how can I rewrite this? Well, I have a negative 6y, 2 plus 4 is plus 6. Now we can factor that out. equals, I'll factor out a negative, um, actually let's factor out, yeah, a negative 6. No, let's negative factor out a, um, negative 6. Yeah, one one negative six. yeah let's factor out a negative 6. Okay. It can be always positive or negative. Mm -hmm. Because, let's take a look at it. So now, we have it in this format, but is it still exactly in this format yet? No, no I don't have it multiplied by 4 yet, right? So now I need to figure out, I can say, 4p equals negative 6, right? It's almost in that form, right? We got an x plus 2 squared equals negative 6y minus 1, but we don't have that multiplied by 4 to figure out what our p value is. So I say 4p equals negative 6. So you divide by 4. p equals negative 3 divided by 2. So now, um, so I can write 4 times a negative 3 divided by 2 times y minus 1. Okay? Woo! So Ooh. I did all of this work, right? This is yeah. maybe a lot musical. Don't do this. What? Music quadratic for me. For what? I don't know. Just to say you've got it. Uh, you, you want to use the quadratic form if you wanted to find the intercepts. For right now, if we want to find the intercepts, then yeah, we'd use the quadratic formula. But we're not trying to find the intercepts. We're trying to find this point, this point, and this point. All right? Now, we know it's a vertical. Now, I wrote a, I, a parabola opening up, open upwards, but let's go ahead and take a look at it and see actually where our parabola so, is. Where? Yes. So if it's horizontal, it'll open down? No, if it's horizontal, it'll open left or right, which we'll do a problem so with that. So let's take a look at it here. Now let's just write in the information. So the vertex, negative 2, positive 1. Right? Remember, we're going to take the opposite of our h and k as our vertex is h, k. Yes, Mike? Um, should we write it like the equation way at the top? The bottom equation, should we write it like because it's x plus 2 at the bottom? Should we put x minus 2? You don't have to. You can write it like that. You do. That's what I'm saying. You can leave it like that and just know that your vertex is going to be the opposite. Oh, no, I'm saying that you put a negative 1. Oh, you're right. Thank you. My bad. Thank you. Opposite of negative 2, comma, positive 1. All right? Then, the next thing is, we determine our P, which is a negative 3 halves. So now we need to figure out the focus. Remember, the focus is H, comma, K plus P. Right? So we look at this, and that is, um, what are we at? Negative 2. So we have negative 2, comma, 1, plus a negative 3 halves, which would be negative 1 half, right? When you combine those two terms. So therefore, my focus is negative 2, negative 1 half. Get them to be the same denominator. So then when I'm looking at my directrix, um, all right, so let's figure out the directrix okay, is going to be negative 2, comma, now 1, minus a negative 3 over 2, <coughs> which is going to be plus, right? Double negative makes us plus. I'm sorry. I don't need that. Sorry. Y equals your, let me write out the formula. If you don't write out the formula, you're bound to make mistakes. Your directrix is going to be y equals k minus your p. Okay? So therefore, y equals your k, which is 1, 
minus a negative 3 halves. All right, please wrap the formulas. I don't like I tried to do. Sorry, yes? Okay, so now double negative is going to be add, right? So that's going to give me 5 halves, right? So now let's go and take a look at our graph, and let's just do a little sketch. I'm not going to get crazy with it. If we're going to make a graph here, all right, if we make a graph, the first thing we go is to our vertex, negative 2, up 1, right there. Then it says my P, first of all, without even knowing what the point is, you can rewrite the fo focus, but my P tells me to go down negative 3 halves, right? So that means I have to go down. Uh -oh down negative 3 halves. So is my probably going to go open up or open down? down? It has to open down because the focus mm -hmm. is inside your problem. Alright? So technically wherever P is, that's what you're going to up and down. Yes, because if P is positive, it opens up. Then you're going to have to open up. Yep. And then I look at my directrix, which is 5 halves, um, which is going to be 2 and a half. Which one is that? Your directrix, which is 5 halves. So, which we do in halves. Okay, you got that? This is pretty easy. It's not too bad, but the fact is, the matter is, 